When you on defense, gotta make sure that your man's good For the right price to get me going, I bet my man's would I'm screaming Smitty, well forever, see how bad I'm doing Bro, hate the smell of piss, but still be in the gym shooting My grandpa used to work his wrist, they gave him years for it I just told Kelly I won't hesitate to kill for him He take the shot, I back you up, you miss, we still scoring What's good, y'all in the pot with I'm the sexiest nigga on any pot Smitty We tapped in with Bobo, man Yeah Finna tap this talk rap life real shit, but off the dribble, man. How you living? How you feel? Man, good, really. <laughs> all in all, I feel good, and that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. So, man, what you doing? What's what's new to life? What you what you currently working on right now? Shit, right now I'm really uh working on pushing my uh pushing my album that I just dropped, getting some more visuals and shit out. But other than that. I've been in the studio. Oh God, going crazy though. Like the new shit I got coming, like outside of this tape. Different. That's all I can say about it. It's different. So he say you got the tape coming, but you you gotta always be working. Like any everything, you gotta always get getting, getting better. Mm-hmm. Growing. He say you feel like you growing as a as yeah, a rapper. For sure, for sure. Especially like from where I started it to like now. It's like everything I drop is like new. It's progressing, like from my wordplay to the shit I'm talking about. Like I don't know. Sometimes I don't even be understanding my music. That shit weird. Like the homies and shit be trying to like break down my music and shit. And like they can pinpoint shit I'm talking about, but then all in all, it be hard because I can't even be pinpointing that shit. Cause I get to talking about shit that I never felt like I could talk about before. So when I talk about it, it's like. Damn, why you, you know, why you reliving that shit again? But once I rap about it, it's like it's over with. You feel me? Like, yeah. That's my life. My 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 diary, I guess. You starting to open up more in your music. So you starting to, like, you starting to hit that stride. You starting to open up your legs. You starting to move a little faster, grow. I ain't gonna lie. If you call it opening up, I think more so shit. I just start saying, fuck it. God, yeah. Like when it came to a lot of shit, I just had to say fuck it, cause it was like, no matter what I did for motherfuckers, or no matter like how I show motherfuckers, like yeah, come on, let's do it, we can do it. It's like that shit ain't never. So nigga, I stopped caring. I stopped giving a fuck what a motherfucker had to say about me. I, like, what you know? I don't care about what nobody say about me no more. That's power. Like you gave up, you gave away power. That you gave everybody else the motherfuckers to care and think like their opinion. They gave you way more power in the end, and you you starting to feel that power. Yeah, now yeah. you said you've come a long way from starting rapping. When did you start rapping? How did man? When, I really been. When you start this rap game shit? Like you mean like serious or all in all? Both. When did you start? Like yeah, I know I can. You know I can rap. And then man. when you say hey, I'm I'm off, I'm driving in. Uh, I'm a bet. I won't. So. I've been rapping all my life. Like, I always could rap. Like, I used to do poetry, though, too. Oh, God, like, real deep poetry and shit. You was writing for the bitches. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah Yeah, nah, nah, man, nah, it's nah, cool, nah, man. Nah, nah, Everybody, nah. I, hey. It was like. For the bitches. Shit, I don't know. Like, me and, my, me and my partner used to, like, we was in school and shit. We used to have this poetry class and shit. And, like, our teacher always make us, like, do the little performances and shit for grades and shit. But it's like every time I touch the stage, somebody cried. My soul. Somebody cried. Somebody told me how I touched them. Like the shit I talk about, I don't know, bro. It's it's gonna touch you every time, cause it's like I feel like I didn't seen it on every side and every angle though. And like every like every time I had to deal with it, I was by myself. Oh God, for real. So I'm the forgotten child. So I'm the forgotten child. He said you got to, so when you he say I'm you painting the picture so vividly because you know what it looked like from every angle. I know what it looked like from every angle. Now you say you rap forever, but when did you say okay, I'm a rapper? When I got uh, kicked out of college. How you get kicked out of college? Man, real shit, no bullshit. We, we, nah, 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 I ain't Vlad. I ain't we, nah, we ain't doing no that. Bullshit. But, but what happened? Man, when COVID hit, I failed the drug test. 
come on, the NBA, they took off the drug test after COVID. Man, look, because though, of COVID. They, they hold like, me though, my mama, because look. Shit, niggas be stressed. Man, our coaches, we had a little rule like, all right, you fail one. You know, that's a little warning. You fail another one. Then, you know, that's when your little discipline shit come in. Nigga, I failed one test. They tested me five times, though. I failed one test. It was during COVID and shit. I kind of fucked myself because I threw up my detox and shit. I had ate a hot link and then drunk a detox and threw that shit up. So it was like, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I, don't, I mean, I don't be tripping, but I be feeling like that shit was supposed to happen. And that's. That shit weird. Yeah. Like, and then, like <laughs> with our people, we, you know, they'll, make it, they'll make it happen. Like, hey, like, nah, that ain't for you. You know what I mean? Like, hey, they usually go like this for other people, but not for you. Like, oh, yeah. For other people, hey, it's two or three. You yeah. get two or three swats. No, nah, yeah. yours, one time, boom. Now yeah. this is what you're supposed to be doing. Like now it's like, oh shit. No more what was you playing? I played football. Was you nice? Man, come on now. What's you playing? Running back and receiver. Oh, so you tell him to rock. <laughs> on, so you better ask about me. Okay, I'm gonna tap in, I'm gonna see. I look like was you was he like that? Come on, bro. That shit was it was really it was really crazy because it was like once I stopped. I realized, like, I do more shit in this music shit than I ever did with football. Like, when it came, like, I, I love football and shit. Like, I love that shit. I love music, too. And I feel like I use football to try to get attention. Like, for my mom and them, for my family and shit, for my motherfuckers around me, I use that shit to get attention, you know? Like, come on, bro, I'm balling. Come, come fuck with me. You know, they never fucked with me, no matter what I did, no matter how I did it. I never got their attention. And so then it didn't happen until I got kicked out with everybody. I had a daughter, actually. I had a little girl. When I had my little girl, everybody started trying to, like, come back around and shit. Everybody started, like, I started getting phone calls and shit. Like, I don't, y'all don't talk to me, you know? Yeah. So it was like, shit. Once I got kicked out of school, then everybody had opinions. Yeah. Everybody. Now they want to tell you something. Now they want to tell you how to do something. Everybody had opinions, bro. And it was like, shit, fuck it. And they start hearing my music. They're like, why are you talking about this? Why are you saying this? You ain't really. But they know. They know. And that should be hurting. But that's my release. Like, my stepmom used to tell me all the time. Not even my stepmom, not my mama. She used to tell me all the time, like, you keep holding all this pain in one day, you gonna, like, that shit gonna break. And you just gonna let go of everything, and it's gonna be hard to stop. I don't feel like I can stop this shit. You can't stop, like, making music and get it off you? It's pain. That's it, where all my music come from, pain. See, is it pain or is it fire? Shit. Like, do you feel like it's hurting you, or does it feel like... Is pushing you both. I ain't gonna lie, cause that shit. I, I for me to sit here and be like that shit don't hurt. I be lying. That shit hurt. And God, it do. But I, I try like to, like I don't know my, man. I don't know how to put it. I just shit. I can't accept it no more. Like I, like I don't accept love and shit no more. My heart won't accept it no more. Cap. Nah, for real. I'm oh, God. Really listen to my music. Yeah. I know. I, I I don't even know him, but I know somebody that can get you right now some love. My girl, my little girl, your daughter. Yeah, that's it. Bingo. So that, that's it's love. It's still love in this world, but like you, the other shit is it's other shit now. See, but that was the void though. Like it was a void in my heart that I was always chasing the fear. It was always there, like when it came from my. I said, my fan, anything, any anything, everybody, everybody around me was a boy right there that I was always trying to feel. It's like everything that I left there, left it empty. I had my little girl. Check, look at my album cover. You look at my album cover in the top. I think it's the top right. It's my heart. That bitch broke though, but it's wrapped around and it say, "Bray Liliana." It's my little girl. Yeah, she filled that void. If you really look at my shit, it's like it's telling a story. My album cover telling a story. Every song from one to fifteen, it's telling a story, and it's step by step. I took the vacant road. 
Oh, God. They blocked the front one. Oh, yeah, that's When blocked. I do it, though, like, when I finish, when I'm done with this shit, they gonna be like, Bobo did it. <laughs> nah, shit, I wanna, hey, I know you gonna do it. I wanna, I'm, like, uh, I got a, I got a good seat for this. You feel like you got you had a seat in sight for everything. I got a good seat for this. Nah, you know what yeah. I mean? Cause it's growing, and then like I want everything to grow with power to touch the top of wherever it gotta go. You feel me? No ceiling. Shout out to Wayne. No limit. Shout out to Master P. You feel me? You can go wherever you want to go. You yeah, see yeah. some shit you think you want? Go get it. I'm that nigga. I ain't gonna never tell me. Oh, I don't do that. Nah, if it's gonna bite your ass, I'm like, hey, it might bite you. But it if you wanna go grab, go grab that. You feel me? And then music, we done seen all the biting. We done seen all the bullshit. How I can come at you and you done shit. I'm we all done seen every bad movie. Shit. Cadillac records, all of them. Motherfuckers read your contract. New mm-hmm. edition. Motherfuckers can read. You know what I mean? Like, know what you get into, like type shit. So we know. But I like, hey, go get it. You wanna hey, be be that nigga? Be that nigga dot com. I'm gonna type it in every other day. See what bro want. You know what I mean? For real. Nah, real shit. Now when you say you got kicked out of school, you had your daughter that filled that void. Did you know if you ever quit playing ball, you was like, I'm gonna rap? I always said that. So you knew. I, I'm, I'm done. Knew. I'm done who I'm done playing football. Man, you can ask my brother Elijah from God, you can ask E. Nigga, I call E. I'm like, why these niggas kick me out of school? He like, what you do? I told him what I did. He like, damn. I'm like, bro, this might be a sign, though. Regardless on where I was, regardless on where my numbers and shit was sitting on my mom, I had just dropped the Forgotten Child, uh, the Forgotten Child tape. I had just dropped that video. I dropped the video after I got kicked out. When I got kicked out, I got mad. So I'm like, fuck, I'm finna drop the video. You know, it did a little. It was smooth. But I told him, like, bro, this might be a sign. I'm God. And ever since then, I ain't never stopped. Yeah, I tried to go back to school and shit. You know, I contacted coaches and shit, but it was like. That I, was. I, I was never. I, once it was over, I was like, bro. Because I, I see what I want, though. I need millions. I'm um, God. What song is that? Road to Forever? I think. Or well, Tony D.B. Tell you all the time. He'd be like, bro, that's my favorite song. I was like, my daughter, Boozy. I can tell. You know, she, was, she wasn't even one yet. I need different bands. I'm um, God. School wasn't going to do that for me. Playing ball, none of that. Man, bro, I was in school doing shit. Like, I don't know, but I just always needed some money. It was fun. I ain't going to lie, I had fun. I did what I did, you know, yeah. it is what it is. I had that bitch turned up. Oh, See, God. It's like, <laughs> oh, God, I did. No cap. With that school shit, what's so crazy is... We not told as like minorities or black people like, but doing other folks that go to school, they people be having them set up to where they can go there and not have to worry about this bill. This ain't your bill. You actually running another bill. You know they got spring break, other shit. They go mm-hmm. wherever they want to go. Mm-hmm. They 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 they, they life is made different than ours. You know what I mean? So when we get in them situations, it's like oh shit. Now it's like oh shit. I'm trying to. This ain't this was this phase was only supposed to be for four years. They got motherfuckers signing a 20-year deal when it's like, I thought this was just for four years. I just thought we was doing this to go do that. Mm-hmm. Nah, you got to, you know what I mean? They they shit different than ours, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, it was like, your shit was like, we not, most black billionaires ain't go to school. Oh, God. You, you know what I mean? Oh, so, it's like, you telling your daughter, she said, hey, daddy, I don't want McDonald's. I want Chick-fil-A. You feel? <laughs> like, she different. You know, you got to take it like she is. She wants something new. And you like... I'm a daddy. I'm going to go get her something new. She wants something different. I'm going to grab it. And then on top of that, bro, I don't want to do like... I don't want to work no nine to five. I ain't knock... I, don't get me wrong. If you work a nine to five, I ain't knocking shit you doing. I swear I ain't. If you hustling, you get money doing what you doing. As long as you get money. But that ain't the type of time I'm on. Bingo. Oh, God, it's not. Like, boy, I was in school... When I went to school, it was like, all right, I'm going to play football. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do was play football. My majors was fucking P.E. and shit. Like, you going to be a gym teacher? Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm God. Like, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> He's going to be a gym. He's like, I was not going to be no damn gym. So, you, it's football really was the. That was my, that was my getaway. I got, I could hide a lot of shit in football. I could hide a lot of pain and shit in football. Like anything, I I never had to talk about my problems when I was playing football. You feel me? 
Nah, yeah. nah, speak. Now nah, that's now nah, that's how you, that's how the world know you. They gotta listen. Like he said, two minutes. That's some bullshit. We can't even talk about. Well, we gonna talk about Tony D and two piece. This as we wrap it up, we gotta talk about the two. Now you said Tony D, and I, every time I think of two piece, now you, both of y'all names is like bingo. Like that's who I think of when I think of two piece. How you tap in with two piece? Like when did you when did you make that connection? When that happened? I ain't gonna lie. I found two piece. The first time I ever went to two piece, my big brother had called me. But they was out at the studio. Like my big brother and Tony, they was out at the studio. And my big brother called me and he was like, uh, you wanna come do a song? And I'm like, yeah, but when I got there, them niggas rap different. Like, this is when I was on some other shit. Like, I was still on some whole other, like, I don't know when. So they had did their song, and my brother was done. He like, hey, go do this. He like, you can do a song by yourself. He like, you got a beat? I'm like, yeah. So I pulled up the beat. Uh, I think it's the song, The Forgotten Child, that song. Like, I had pulled that up, and me and Two Piece recorded that motherfucker. Like, damn. All right. But then Tony D told me the nigga make beats. Oh God. So I went in there again. I'm like, hey, you make beats? He like, yeah. I'm like, bet you got something for this. So I freestyled a little hook for him. That nigga made a beat. And I ain't never used the YouTube beat since. <laughs> Swear to God. He's had since then that like and that's what something I've learned from just like intake and learning about music. A lot of great producers, they can just hear you rap and see how you do, and then they create art off that. You feel me? And he caught with you, and he was like, boom, boom, boom. We gotta wrap this up though. Where can they? Where can they find you tomorrow? Like, what's your socials and what yeah, you, you got could, coming? You can find me on Instagram at uh, underscore the forgotten child four. Shit coming. Yeah. I got a lot of shit coming. A lot of shit coming. Y'all need to go check out that album I just dropped. Before Betrayal, I Choose Death. It's streaming on all platforms. And just like that.